What is up, I Love Basketball TV. It's Coach Ryan Rizuki. Today I'm here with Mo and Dom, and we're going to show you how to score as an undersized guard. Let's get to it. First thing I want is I want to see you right here, and Dom right there as well. Okay, probably one of the most things that you can do to score as an undersized guard, we're going to go to this basket today, is just being able to get that ball up quickly. So just being ready to catch and shoot all the time, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to backpedal into that catch and shoot three. So backpedal, boom, feet set, catch it, shoot it, make sure that you're low on that one, right? Beautiful. So we're going to go first to hit three on this, all right? So backpedal, yep, perfect, not bad. You see that, Dom? Backpedal, yep, boom, just nice and quick, yep, just be ready to shoot, almost. Uh, let me do this. All right, go ahead. Come on. You can grab your own rebounds. Smooth. Here you go. Nice. Good hit. Good. Two. Almost. Finish it. Three. Perfect. So. Just being quick off the catch, right? We want to be able to get into that catch and shoot jumper, be ready all the time. Now, we're going to catch it, we're going to drive. Because we're undersized, we're going to use the rim to protect us. So as we get to the basket, we're going to finish with a reverse layup. Nice and easy. So back pedal, boom, rip, quick, good. Nice. Now the only thing I want to see on that, on that catch is just look at the rim. You don't, even have, you don't even have to pump it, just look at it. Go ahead, back pedal, boom, good, go. Nice. Reverse, good, look at it, yep, go. I got you. Good. Look. Perfect. And last one. Look at the rim. Good. Perfect. Go ahead. Nice. Now, when we're undersized, okay, so first thing we're doing is we're being able to catch it, shoot it nice and quick, right? Yep. Got to do that from all spots of the floor, all spots of the floor. Then attack, use the basket to protect us. Now, as we attack on this last one, people want to block our shot. So we're getting to the basket. We're going to nice, just quick pump fake and get it up, right? Just right here, attack. You can pump fake with the left. You can pump fake with the right. Pump fake with two. But just shoot it real quick after you pump fake, all right? Look, go. Good. Nice. Go up. Perfect. Good. Look. Good. Good. Last one down. Good. Perfect. Okay. Couldn't ask for anything better. Now, we're getting to that pump fake. They're biting on our shot fake. We're getting some more things to happen around the rim. Yes, obviously you gotta have a floater in your bag as well too. But before we get into the floater, the last one I wanna add on this one is we're gonna pump fake in the air. Does this make sense? So now as you attack, you're gonna pump fake in the air on the right side, finish on the left side. Yep, exactly. Go ahead, back. Yep, perfect, love it, love it, love it. Good. No, perfect. Yes. Good. Last one. Good. You got three? Perfect. Okay. Now we'll get into our floater. So as we attack, we see the big step up. We're not able to take an angle to the basket. So we'll go one foot or two foot floaters. Okay. We'll go first to three on this floater. Nice. Good hit. Got you. Two. Almost. Game time. Good three. Beautiful. So we're attacking the basket, right? Hitting those open threes, attack the basket, use the rim to protect us, get into our pump fakes, get into our floater bag, different things like that to be able to score as an undersized guard, right? So some more things that we want to do is understand how to utilize pick and rolls. Because what we're going to do is we're going to create different mismatches when people are not as quick as us and be able to attack off that. So, can you grab me one of those poppers real quick? We'll start on this wing. A lot of times you're going to see this sideline pick and roll. So we're going to come off this pick. First thing I want to do is hit, hit someone with one move, and then we're going to use one of those finishes that we just practiced with, right? So we're playing off drop coverage. This is our screen, our teammate. We're going to use the screen. As we come off the screen, 
If someone's gonna be here, we're gonna hit them with one move. Go baseline, go middle, doesn't matter to me, right? Boom, boom, okay? As we attack, we just worked on pump fakes, we worked on floaters, and we worked on using the rim to protect us. So any of those finishes are fine with me, okay? First to three. Boom, 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 quick. Yep, nice. Good, inside hand sneak, that's all right. Nice. Good, way to use the rim. Quick burst. Boom, nice, good. Good floater. Good, two. Good. Easy, good one step. Boom. Good fake. Beautiful, three. Good pump fake, good. Obviously you saw they used a couple other finishes like a one step finish where you can get up quickly or an inside hand finish, other things where you can be kind of sneaky around the rim so bigs can't block your shot because they're always trying to time your two steps, right? Now on this last one, we're gonna add a same thing here but we're gonna add either a first step pump fake or first step pass fake. So when you have two steps, on the first step I want you to either pass fake to someone like a Euro and then finish or shot fake on the first step and then take your second step into the layup. Make sense? Perfect. So attack me as we go to this basket, same thing, yep, same, you're doing the exact same thing. But off of me, whatever move you make, you're coming down here and you're either gonna get into a pass fake finish or shot fake and then finish on the first step. Mm -hmm, same thing, yeah. Oh, pass fake shot, good. Good, pass fake finish, nice. Shot fake, beautiful. Nice, good two steps. One, two, beautiful. People love to jump on that when you show that ball like that. Nice. And the rim, beautiful, great job. Got one more here. Good, super tough, great finish, love it. Okay, same thing, the last one's gonna be getting into our floater package, all right? But you might see some different coverages off the screen. So what I'm gonna do is I might hedge it hard where you have room to split the gap, and I might hedge it soft where you can just come around me on this one. Okay, all floaters of it. Soft hedge, good. Hard hedge, good split, nice. Good floater, great floater. Split, good. And a pass fake, good job. Good left, one more. Beautiful. It's okay, perfect, we got our three. So, as an undersized guard, these are most of the things that you wanna work on as much as you can to be able to score. Now the last one, obviously you do such a good job of this, is your ability to create separation. So, just like we talked about earlier with that catch and shoot, we're gonna build off of that one too. I want you to backpedal into it, you're gonna catch it, look at the rim, as you attack, you're beating them on a closeout, they're gonna do everything in their power to recover, right? So as they recover, hit them with one move, change of direction, create that separation, we'll go for a midi, or if you even wanna get back into a three. Okay, so start inside a little bit. We're gonna backpedal, look at the rim. Yep, go. Beautiful, great change of direction. Look. All right, perfect, almost. First to three. Good one. Right hit. Foul. Good. Be shot ready every time you catch the ball. Look like you're about to shoot it, right? Good, good space. It's okay, it's alright. That's the next one. Good two. It's your one to win, Mo. No luck on this one. Nice, good release, good rotation. Beautiful, there's your three, good stuff. So, those are the ways that you wanna be able to target scoring at his undersized guard. Obviously, we did a lot of like V cuts and back pedals and things here. You could do it into a lift, you could do it into a trailer, you could do both wings, you could do top of the key, you could do all the stuff out of the corner. You wanna be able to have all these finishes from different angles because you're gonna catch the ball in different spots. Don't just work on one spot the whole time. We hope you enjoyed today's video, so make sure to hit that thumbs up button if you did, and subscribe as we're dropping new videos every single week. So make sure you hit that notification bell. We'll catch you guys in the next video.